hello everyone and welcome back to my new video yeah uh, yeah uh, like i'm making this video after a very long time but uh, just it's just because of time constant nevertheless let's start the video so uh, today i'll be covering till last video i have covered how to set up a aws server and run in python and algo and today i'll uh, like uh, moving forward i'll move forward and uh, we'll cover how to run any python and algo in aws server effectively okay when i say effectively uh, means uh, it should not cause any error and um, you should get all the ideas like how it is happening and all so uh, in today's video i'll be covering how to run a python algo in aws server and how to schedule it using cron time so yeah and uh, before that uh, like just one thing uh, in i'll be coming with more and more videos and my future plans are like how to create ohlc and then how to create algo for the, uh, open range breakout both for cash as well as bank nifty and then how to uh, create a straddle uh, using premium price okay not not just based on strike price but on premium price so yeah so please if you're watching this video please subscribe to my channel for all the few uh, upcoming videos okay so yeah and um, i'll be uploading next video only when i cross 1000 subscriber currently it's only 153 so yeah so if you are watching this video don't forget to subscribe it fine so let's without waiting further let's start it okay so yeah this video will be there in two parts start the second part okay so let's go to our instance and connect to our AWS server okay so oh uh, I'll be explaining how to schedule your python algo using cron tab okay so first thing is you have to check whether cron tab is installed or not in your system you can give cron tab hyphen l okay so it will be there by default still just check okay so uh, you can see my cron tab file has opened here and these are the algos already scaled uh, scheduled for me okay so uh, if you are if you are using it for the first time you will get an option which editor you want to use to edit this file okay so uh, please select nano editor that's uh, like pretty easy to understand okay so let's uh, open this uh, uh, once you select nano editor it will be selected by default for further uses okay so let's go to uh, our, uh, let's edit our cron tab file so to edit we have to give cron tab hyphen e okay so now it is in edit mode right so now um, see here so uh, this is the first example that is given by cron tab only and nevertheless you can always go to google and search for cron tab scheduling okay and uh, give wikipedia that is very like easy way to understand okay so here it has explained there are five uh, five fields which you can fill in so first is for minute okay at what minute do you want to execute your script any python or any command any command in in the sense okay since we are algo trader we are only considering algo okay so uh, the first field will be for minutes the second field will be for hour third is for the day of the month okay fourth is for the month which month you want to execute it and uh, fifth is for day day of the week okay and zero being as a sunday and seven is also sunday or some system fine so pretty easy right so similarly let's say this is my one of the algo that is a time following system so i'm running it every, on every uh, 8 o'clock 58 like 8 58 in the morning and on all days okay if you give star it will consider all okay so let's uh, let's schedule our test dot file okay 
give enter uh, and uh, now time is 11.55 right let's give me 56 and then 11 and then star then star then star okay and then python 3 hyphen u and then test dot free y and let's append it to cron test cron out cron okay out c r hyphen dot p y okay so now it will start uh, at okay 50, it's already 56 so let me give 57 okay now to exit this file we have to give control x okay if you are opening with a nano data give control x it will ask a save modified buffer you have to give yes if you don't want to save you have to give no let's give yes and enter now it is saved right so as soon as time will be 11:56, it will automatically execute okay now let's check our uh, file now we don't have this outcron.py right oh sorry by mistake i gave outcron.py you can give any file name so at 11:50, now it is 11:57, right now we can see that file has been created so outcron.py see right okay let's open this file so see here of my python script has already started using cron tab and i'm getting all the outputs here let's open it again you will get more displays okay so this is the way you can schedule your uh, python algo using cron tab so like there are many ways let's go to cron tab again hyphen hyphen l for to list only to just view and hyphen e to edit okay so i'm just okay so yeah and yeah like there are many ways to use cron tab but this is the simplest and most effective way and i would suggest you to use this otherwise you can anytime go to google and look for like your requirements look as per your requirement you will get the solution and this is the most easy and effective way uh, you will have your all the locks in this file okay and it will be dynamic you can open it anytime during the day fine and uh, let's say you have already started your algo and you want to close it again you have to go to psaux that will show all the process running in your system go here see here this is the command i gave right so it was triggered by cron tab so uh, i have to kill it to end it okay so what is the process number 4791 so let's kill it kill hyphen 9 and then 4792 4792 right oh sorry 4791 okay then let's go to psaux again now we are not able to see that right so that is had that has been killed so now uh, your algo or your python script has stopped okay let's go to cron out sorry out cron okay you will see it has printed till 136 even after uh, let's say five seconds it will be same because oh sorry okay it's still printing okay let's go back again Okay, I think this is getting printed by this care hyphen nine then four seven nine two. Okay, done. Let's go to PSA UX again. Now no Python is running right. Let's go to cat chrome out chrome. See i'm opening it again and see now it has stopped printing right it means your algo has stopped your python script has stopped okay so this is the way you should be running your algo so first step is schedule using cron tab how you can go to cron tab is cron tab hyphen l to just to see hyphen e to edit okay then you have to give command okay let me just open cron tab hyphen l then 
then you have to give the time minute hour and star 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 let it run every day then python 3 then hyphen you don't miss hyphen you are okay otherwise you won't be able to open your files during uh, whenever you are always uh, executing okay then your algo name then give this arrow sign to append it to a output file okay that's it that's all you want to do all you need to do okay and to close your uh, to terminate your uh, uh, algo if your algo automatically exits after 3 pm that is well and good if it doesn't you have to go to psaux and kill the process number that's it that's all you need to run the algo there are many complex ways of course you can like research on google and find out the best suitable way for yourself based on your requirement but for me this is working uh, like anything and I've, I've been using since long and this is all i wanted to explain okay so i'll be like ending this video here so uh, let me just again tell you that uh, in future i'll be coming with how uh, now all the aws part is complete okay how to mean how to create server how to run algo and there's nothing extra okay yeah one more thing is you can access your server using a mobile app that is called juice ssh okay juice ssh okay that's a uh, android app and you can use it to access your server you don't have to go to aws console and log in right and uh, like you can check out any of the videos in youtube there are multiple videos you can check out and uh, what do you say you can check out and uh, connect to your server and you you can use all the commands uh, right on your phone to run your algo okay so yeah so what uh, like i'll be uh, now i'm telling uh, now i'm gonna tell you like what are my future plans is first thing is i'll be uh, uh, next I'll be covering how to create OHLC using Alice Blue okay and then I'll be sharing a setup for opening range breakout both for cash and bank nifty if you want to buy options whenever the bank nifty uh, breaks its range or you if you want to sell an option okay and third thing is how to yeah how to uh, create a triangle based on bank bank nifty premium price or nifty premium price okay and till now i have explained how to uh, create a triangle using strike okay not premium price so those three things are my current plan and there are many things uh, coming on my mind to explain to give it to you guys but but there's a catch i'll do it only when i cross my 1000 subscriber okay so till now I have five videos. I'll be adding two more videos, seven videos, and next videos I'll upload only when when I cross 1,000 subscribers. Okay. So if you're watching this video, make sure you subscribe it and uh, share it with you, with share it with your friends and ask them to subscribe it. Make it thousand. I'll come with more and more interesting videos, and that will make your life very easy, and you can also become an algo trader. Okay. Thank you guys and all the best for your algo trading journey. Thank you.